Hello everyone, I'm Farrell Imran and today I'll be showing you how to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. So I'll be showing you the full tutorial about it, how to use it for free, with the free plan how you can use it. I'll be showing you all about it and I'll be explaining you some things also. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So here, this would be the window of Claude when you want to log in if you don't have an account yet. So you can just go for continue with Google or you can use your email. You can use this to continue. After that, this window appears. Now this window appears in which it is saying like welcome and your name. So like my name is Faryal. So here it says Faryal. Welcome Faryal. So here it says start your first message with Claude. Okay, one more thing I want to tell you. Uh, when Claude 3.5 Sonnet was released, then what happened was that it also announced one thing which was called artifacts. Now, how artifacts is uh, activated when you use the chat. So here you go to your profile or it comes here, it appears here also. So then you go to feature preview and then this is the artifacts. It's the experimental thing. So here you have to click this on. For me, it was off before. And then when I went here and then you click on. Okay, so let me tell you what artifact is. So artifact is basically what happens whatever you type anything. For example, if you say, write a quote for me. Now then beside it, what happens is that a window appears. A window appears in which you see all the code is written. And after that, you can see the preview also of it. You can see the code and then you can use the preview option in which you see like for example whatever code is written so whether it's working or not you can have a look at it so when i'll be typing it then i can show you the artifact thing so you can use this or click on this to set it to on and then when you click on cross here for example you can even upload docs or images to cloud for example you just upload an image and you say like tell me about this image so it tells you about it like what image is this, what happens and where is it? It tells it about you, it gives you some information about it. And you can upload docs also, for example, if it's a neural network, it's a picture you can say, like, can you make an animation of this one? So you can do that. So I'll be showing you each and everything. And then let's see about it. If I say like, start your first message with Claude. If I click or type hi, I'll just say, it just says hi first. It says, hello, how can I assist you today? Now I'll say that you, can you, can you tell me about this cat? And I'll upload the image of a cat. Okay. Here you see the cat image has been uploaded. I uploaded this image of a cat. And then when I click on like enter, so it says here. Now this image shows a white Persian cat. Persian cats are known for their long, luxurious coats and distinctively flat, round faces. So here, this is a cat and it says that it's a white Persian cat. And this also cat appears to be pure white with no visible markings, means there's no marking in it. And they said the, uh, the cat has large, round eyes which is a prominent feature of its face. And they say they often have copper or blue eyes. So, but here it is telling the truth that it can tell the exact eye color from this image. Okay, so here it says the cat is sitting on what looks like a light colored piece of furniture. So possibly a couch or a bed. Okay, so it says it's whether like it's a couch or a bed and it's a light colored. And they said there's a pattern fabric. So he, so Claude says that this is a pattern, floral pattern. And then it says that, yep, it is very fluffy and well-groomed. Wow. And it says that it's a pampered, well-cared pet in a comfortable home environment. So it's not just a street cat. It's a, like a house cat, which is really pampered. So it's telling you all the information about it just from the image. Now I'll ask it to write a quote for me for a to-do list in React. 
So I'll just say, can you write a code of to do list in React? Now I'll just add this and click on enter. Now here it says certainly. Okay, now this is what I was talking about. Now this is what is said. It is an artifact. Now here you can see the window was appearing and then the code was written. So here you can have a look at the code. So the whole code was written. So even there's a preview of it also that you can have a look at. So and it said the features that it is added. It is you can add the new task. Mark task is completed. Delete task and responsive design using Tailwind CSS classes. So you can add these uh, means the things or the features that it can use is that you can add the new task remove it delete means mark the task as completed and even you can the responsive design is using tier one css so here if i say doctor's appointment okay now just click on it after that i'll click on add so here you can see the task has been added means this button is working completely fine and then if you if i click on this checkbox so it will just show me as it will just show me the task has been completed so you can see the cross out of the thing and then after that i'll just add one more thing that going to dubai dubai is a good place so going to dubai i'll just click on add and then here you can see there's another task which has been added. Now and now I'll click on this delete button. Let's see whether it's delete button is actually working or not. So I'll click on this delete button and it actually deleted the task. So all these things that it said, it is actually doing it. Means the code is working really fine. So for everything you can just have a new chat instead of adding the same thing in it. One more thing that I have to tell you is that when you go to here the chat controls. Then you can also use the this is the artifact which I was showing you and even you can change the chat style. So there's some font like default, match system and dyslexic friendly. So these are the three fonts that you can use it if you want. So you can even change the font here. And there's one more thing in settings here is that you can change the appearance also. So this is the system mode. This is the light mode. The same as the system. And then there's a dark mode. So here you can see the dark mode, which is so better suitable for most of the developers. You can also have a look at the references and like understand and work with images, such as you can transcribe handwritten notes if I click on this. So it's like kind of examples. So you can have a look at the examples also. So when I click on this, so here it says. Transcribe this whiteboard for my meeting notes. Start with whiteboard notes. Now, when I click on enter, so you see here now this handwritten thing it has translated with the whiteboard notes and the priorities. Means you can save this thing in your phones or anywhere, like in the notepad. So it has written for you this thing. And let's see more things. Now, if I go back, so here it also says convert UI design to front end code extract text from images you can also do that you can also extract text from images for example whatever text is written in the images you can even do that for example if i say extract text from images now when i click on enter here you can see there's a recipe in the image and this one has been created as a json file so as a json file it has been created in which it is telling about the recipes like there is a small onion it's diced and it's one and there's garlic broccoli chicken breast baby carrots so all these things they have added as a json file like now what to do this thing like the one two three four what to do so all these things have been added like the item is the onion amount is one then preparation like that it has like gathered in a json file so this is one of the examples the cloth 3.5 sonic can do. Now let's go again back and then you can suggest the product descriptions. Converge UI design to front end code. 
of course you can it can also convert the design to front end code also that also it can do for example whatever ui design you have or the website design because website designers what they do they design the website using the tools like canva or adobe or figma any tools they use they make the design of the website so to convert it into a code they can do use this cloud 3.5 sonnet so when i click on this so let's see whether it does or no so here it can convert it's starting to convert So you can have a look at this. The code has been given. So this was the image and the code was written according to it. And then the preview was given. So you can see here the preview is the same as the code. So you can just click on it or click on the buttons or continue with Google. So you can make more changes in the code. So you can see here, this is the code. It has written according to it. And this is pure HTML, CSS, where they use the button dev paragraph everything they've used this so these are some of the examples in which what plot 3.5 sonnet can do so these are some of the examples so you can have a look at more examples also like when you have when you go to the front page and then you can have a look at more of the examples but how i told you before in the video that you have to turn on artifacts so that this window appears otherwise this window won't appear if you don't turn on it. So that is all for my side. Thank you so much.